Hey guys, what's going on? It's the New York Stinking John fan, but for once I can say my team don't stink, and neither do I. What a victory Tuesday this is. We won, we crushed the Eagles, the She-Eagles. Philly 500, you're not Philly 500. What is your record now? You're like Philly 352 and some change. I'm like, then you had to give up. The, then you, then you, I just heard you all last week, like, you were so confident that we would that we was going to lose. Now the talking heads are saying Carson Wentz it's not worth 100 million dollars. Now they're saying that it's Howie Roseman. Now they're saying that Doug Peterson. I mean, come on, like Philly. Like what is going on Philly? What is going on Philly 500? What is going on with your garbage team? Your team is trash. Your team stinks. The team stinks. And I agree with Mark Holmes. Shave your head. Just shave it. Shave your head. Shave your head. S stupid idiot. Shave your head. King Dingbat. King Dingbat. You should return the favor to all us Giants fans that you made Cole Pizzle shave his head. Shave your head, Philly. Dot. 352 percentage points. The only reason why you're winning the division over the Giants is because you tied with Cincinnati. Seriously? We beat you head to head. We split. Why are we not winning the division? Because of a tie? Cincinnati? Are you kidding me? A lot of people are predicting us to win the division. You Eagles fans have the hardest schedule to remain in the season. And the Cowgirls, oh, I, Cowgirls, y'all not winning the division. Y'all can talk about draft picks all you want. We got so many draft picks. We can tank. We can do this. We Somebody want a top-tier quarterback. We can trade out the spot and get some more picks. So that's what y'all going to call this year, a rebuild? You're going to call this a rebuild now? That's what we're doing. Cowboys fans, is a rebuild year. Rebuild. Rebuild. Redskins, they're not, are they rebuilding? We're not rebuilding. We're not, oh, so that's what it is now. The Eagles and the Cowgirls are going to be rebuilding now. Wow. 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 Really, y'all? This is what we do when we win. See, when the Giants win and the Giants are ahead, it's excuses. It's excuses why the Cowboys and the Eagles are not atop the NFC East. When the Giants are atop the NFC East, do we all make excuses? No. You played to win the game. And we played the hell out of the Eagles. You should have swept them. Should have been Dallas and we swept the Redskins. Dallas, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you are on our radar. Dallas, you are on our radar. We are going to beat you. Whether you have Andy Dalton, whether you have Gigi or Danny DiNucci, whether you have uh, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, whether you have CeeDee Lamb, CeeDee Lamb, whether you have Amari Cooper, I don't care who you have on the field. You guys are going to suck. Suck. We're going to put you in the worst draft position ever. You might be picking first. That's how bad we're going to put y'all out your misery. Y'all might be picking the number one pick. Number one. I'm so glad we won. I'm so glad Philly sent the belt to Cole Pizzle. Hopefully Pizzle will send it to me so I can represent the belt. Because New York is number one. Always and forever number one. Number one. Number one, we beat the stinking Eagles. The Sheagles. The Beagles. Philly dot. 352 percentage points. Like you, why do you call yourself 500? Why? 500 and what? 500 and what? Oh my God! Then he wants to blame everybody. See, that's what guys and Eagles fans do, y'all. That's what they do. They blame. They blame Jason Garrett. That's what they do every day. Blame Jason Garrett. They blame Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, Billy. That's what they do. They blame uh, Doug Peterson. They blame the defensive coordinator. They blame Harry Rosen. They blame Carson Wentz. Y'all blame, blame, blame. Blame, blame, blame. Stop blaming. Stop blaming your difficulties and just man up and get a team out there. 
all season, I'm not, I, I blame the Jason Garrett. That's the only person I blame is Jason Garrett. But now, somebody must have listened to me and said, Jason Garrett, can you teach Daniel Jones to hold on to the football? Please. Because if he turns the ball over, we lose games. The last two games, this dude ain't turn the ball over and we're winning games. Winning games. Do not turn the ball over. You take the sack, you throw a ball away to live another day. You don't, you don't, no. You don't do costly turnovers. You don't do costly turnovers. Jason Garrett is finally preaching this to this man. Daniel Jones looks like the best quarterback in the NFC least. He looks better than Carson Wentz. He looks better than Alex Smith. Uh, Y'all might have me on Alex. Y'all might have me on Alex. But he ain't running the ball. He's a statue in the pocket. I mean, my man can run and throw the ball. And whatever Dodge quarterback, Andy Dalton. Oh, God, please. They're on their fourth string quarterback. Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in the NFC least. Argue with me about Alex Smith. I need some more games on this before we can argue about that, that point. You know what I'm saying? But Daniel Jones is looking like the real deal. Real deal. Real deal. And the New York stinking, freaking, awesome football team Giants should be number one. Number freaking one. Why are we not number one? Because of a tie. Philadelphia. Dallas. The Redskins. The Giants are on the come up. We're not spiraling down like y'all. We're going up. Thumbs up. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. All day, every day. The New York State Giants fan is a proud man today of his team. They've been playing hard all season. All season. But we finally put two and two and finally got four. Now, we got to buy. What improvements do we need to make? I think still teaching Daniel Jones to protect the football. We got a nice running game. Keep going with the, keep going with the running game. Alfred Morris, Devontae Freeman, uh, Gilman. We, 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 we got a nice running back by committee going there. I like that. Darius Slayton, Evan Ebron, we got Golden Tate. I mean, Golden Tate, you cannot be doing stupid stuff to get you sidelined. We can't do that. No, bro, you cannot do that no more. We need you. We, if you're going to be a part of this team, we need you to play. Without you out there, we're, 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 we're okay. But we are awesome if you're out there. All right, guys. Um, I got some nice cool merch. Stinking Giants fan merch. Stinking Giants fan merch. You can find it on our Michael Anthony's Fitness website. I don't do the, the link in the description below. But if you guys are cool with Michael Anthony, I'm pretty sure he has a link. If you go to his channel, he has a link that we can get some cool Giants. If you're really a Stinking Giants fan, just get a scarf. You ain't got to get nothing big. Get a scarf. Uh, I got the jacket. I got the shirt. Got everything. Hey, you just get the scarf and just wear it like I'm wearing it for COVID. You know, that's me. That's me right there. That's me. I am the dude. I am the dude. I am, I am the dude. Hey, you ain't even got to, even if you're not a Giants fan, I think you can go in there and get some Dallas Cowboy stuff. Get some Dallas Cowboy stuff. Then go to Mark's channel. Get some stuff for Mark. You know, it's all in good fun and good faith. All right, be out here. Be safe, you guys. Make sure you guys wear your mask or wear your scarf. Protect yourselves out here. COVID is going up. It's spiking. So be careful out there. The Giants are on the bye. Like Mark Holmes said, we ain't got to worry about a loss this week. We ain't got to worry about a loss. Because we won. We won. We won. I cannot wait to enjoy this bye week. And I'm already starting. Mm. Mm. Ah. See, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. All over the place. All right, y'all. Be safe. Like I said, like, subscribe, be a part of the channel. I'm going to try to do this on Tuesdays when I'm off. Hopefully, some Tuesdays I might go to work. If I'm not doing it Tuesday, I'll do it Thursday. But I'm loving this right now. I'm loving this. You guys are loving me. And I appreciate y'all loving me. I appreciate y'all liking and subscribing. Love, peace, hair grease, and I'm out.